It's not easy being green, but not all frogs face that dilemma. If you visit the Royal Botanical Gardens, you'll be able to learn all about these very diverse and very beautiful creatures. I'm Jackson Udecki. I'm a resource interpreter here at Royal Botanical Gardens. And uh, for the next three months, I am working with and surrounded by frogs. So because we have such a significant wetland uh, by way of Coots Paradise and in our own backyard, the Grindstone Creek, we have frogs right here uh, in our own backyard. The frogs that we have in this exhibit are more global frogs. We have frogs from Asia, from Africa, from South America. Um, there are over 5,000 different frog species and their populations are in decline. Um, so we're trying to kind of highlight some of the conservation efforts that humans can put forth to keep frogs around and things that we can do as kids, as adults, to try and keep them here in our own wetlands. A lot of things are being very mindful of what you're putting down your drink. Frogs have the ability to breathe and absorb things through their skin. And when we're dumping things down sewers or down our drains that could be harmful to the environment, it could get into ecosystems and affect a frog um, very easily. They're an indicator species, so they can let us know if something bad is happening in an ecosystem. They are a major food source for other animals as well as contributing to eating a lot of insects and so uh, a lot of mosquito larvae especially so they're kind of good for humans in that respect but just understanding that that they are easily affected by humans. Uh, habitat loss is another big thing. RBG has 2,700 acres of land that we protect and so we try to make sure that everything within our boundaries is, is staying safe. The exhibit called Frogs, A Chorus of Colors runs all the way through winter until April the 12th. Reporting for Ignite News, I'm Liz Chernichenko.